Okay, let us understand about factorization. And in this video, we will learn about factorization by taking common factors. Now, friends, what happens is, let's say, many a times you get something like this. Some variable A, which is multiplied by A, B, and the same variable multiplied by C. Now, based on whatever we've learned, you know, we know that A into B, okay, and then A into C is equal to A into B plus C, right? In these two, we have A as a common factor. And therefore, we can just take out A and then multiply it by some of these two. In many situations, when you come across mathematical problems, the way you can solve it is, if you can find out a common factor which is multiplying various other things and forming an algebraic expression. Now, in this case, let us see, we have 3m into p minus q, then minus 2n into 2p minus 2q, plus 6l into 3p minus 3q, right? Now, at a first look, you might wonder that there is actually nothing which is common multiplicand between these three variables. There are basically three parts to this, one, two, and three. But on a closer look, if you see, we have p minus q over here. We have 2p minus 2q over here. So if we take a 2 common amongst these two, we can write this as 2 into p minus q. Okay. Similarly, if amongst this we take 3 common here, we can write this as 3 into p minus q. Right? And this, this 3 can be multiplied by 6L. This 2 can be multiplied by 2N. And we have p minus q over here. Right? So basically, now we've got a common factor, which is p minus q in all these three multiplicands. So now if I take p minus q as a common factor, then what am I left with? Here, if you divide this by p minus q, you will get 3m minus. In this case, p minus q goes out. What is left? 2 into 2, 4 into n, 4n plus. Here, what is left? 6l into 3l. 18L. Right? So now basically we have kind of factorized this equation into two parts wherein this is equal to P minus Q into 3M minus 4N plus 18L. Right? Let us see the second problem. Again, we have A into P square plus Q square plus B into minus P square minus Q square. Again, in the first look, it might seem there's nothing common. But if you look at this, which is minus p square minus q square, if we take out minus 1 from both of them, what are we left with? We are left with p square plus q square, which is the multiple out here. Right? So we can also write this as a into p square plus q square plus b into minus 1 p square plus q square, right? Then we take p square plus q square as common. And what are we left with? We are left with a, b into minus 1 will give you minus p, which is your answer, right? So basically, many a times, in order to factorize, what do we do? We take out certain common factors and simplify the expression 